McCoy, Director of Technical Services here at Fujikura. Welcome to our Fit On Studio. Great. Glad to Good have you here. here. But let's take a look at your golf club first. We need to find out what it is you have. So we're going to look at face, angle, loft, lie, length. We're going to go 10 grams lighter into our uh, Motori speeder okay. and uh, hopefully bring the launch down and also um, decrease the spin a little okay. bit. We're close. Okay. We've brought down the launch, which is good. We've gone from 14.5 to 16.9. So we've, we've decreased your launch a little bit, which is nice. Okay. The spin's still a little high for where you want to be. Right. So Jeff, this is the high-tech portion of our fitting here at Fujikura. We've markered up the shaft that I spoke about earlier, the Motori 6.2 speeder. We've put our markers on it for our new Enzo fitting system that will show your club swing pre-impact to impact at over 700 frames per second. In this image, the backswing is blue and the downswing is in red. So he's taking the swing, he's in the backswing, it's actually a wider backswing, which is indicative of a good player, and then the downswing is very tight inside the blue. Having the availability with the sensors on uh, the head and uh, the butt of the shaft, we're able to see not just your plane line, but everything that's happening in space in that area. So we can look at droop, we can look at lag, we can look at lead. We're gonna go through this together and find out how well the shaft benefits your swing style or not. Uh, I like the trajectory. I can really feel a lot more load in the club. Well, the Matori Speeder definitely brought down my trajectory, a more boring trajectory. Um, as well as my dispersion pattern definitely got a lot tighter, so a lot of positive things came out of it. With the extra yardage, I'll be able to get up on that first tee and get all my friends' cash. So system consists of eight high-speed, high-resolution motion capture cameras. Uh, these cameras can look at a reflective dot, and these markers on the golf shaft are distributed at the butt end of the golf shaft and on the club head. And with those markers, we can determine exactly how the shaft is bending, how the shaft is twisting. This is during the entire swing, by the way. Um, we could determine how much, for example, toe droop there is, uh, lofting. And it's, a, it's a really unique uh, experience to see and uh, the result is an advanced fitting system that looks not just at how the golf ball is hit, but what happened before the golf ball was hit and how those things affected the ball flight. Gentlemen, welcome to Fujikura's Fit On Studio. The Enzo fitting system is a new fitting system that we've, we've partnered with Vicon to create. We've put markers on a golf club at the, at the butt end of the shaft, near the, just below the grip, and markers at the club head. And as you swing, we'll be able to tell you, for example, things like what's going on uh, at the grip, how you're loading it, how quickly are you turning over the club, how fast are you moving your hands, how fast are you turning your club head over, how, what is your release rate, all those things we can measure. Um, but the, similarly, we could say what's going on in the shaft now, how much is it bending, which direction is it bending? How much is it twisting? And as it bends, how is it changing the orientation of the club head? Uh, we'll be able to tell you, for example, how much loft that shaft is adding to your club, club head as you swing. Uh, we'll be able to tell you how, if it's leaving your club face open or closed as you go through impact. We'll be able to tell you how much toe droop there is. You know, so you've heard of toe droop at the bottom of your swing, but you maybe don't even know how much there is. But depending on the shaft design, well, that affects that. So, all these degrees of freedom we'll be able to measure with the Enzo fitting system. Uh, that's important to us to know exactly what the club's doing during your swing. So the goal is, is to capture data before you hit the ball, use that information to fit you properly so that we tie in both post-impact and pre-impact all together as one. Each person that hits a different shaft will load it differently and have a different response from that shaft. So you want to make sure that that response is proper for your type of swing. You know, we can measure shaft kick, which is something we've talked about in the past, but no one's ever told you what that shaft kick is. Well, now we can actually measure how fast the shaft is kicking. And believe it or not, we've seen shafts kick backwards. That means the shaft wasn't right for you. It actually was kicking away velocity because as it was going into impact, it was already cycling backwards. You don't want that. You want it to cycle forward, right, and, you, and take that velocity and add it to your, to your club swing speed. 
something. We're not here to change your swing and make you somebody who you're not. We want to make sure that with who you are, we're getting you the right shaft. So as you swing, I just want to see what the club's doing, what the shaft is doing. Find the right shaft that fits you best and gives you the best performance. We take that, uh, that, that trial and error process of fitting into something more scientific, into something more concrete with data that you could see for yourself and then prove that the output, which is the ball flight, is the best for you. That's really the goal. And we're doing that with these high-speed motion camera systems uh, from Vicon. It's exciting for us to be a part of that and to offer that to the golf, co golf community now. It seems like actually this system could work reverse educationally for you. You could, based on the performance and the feedback you get from analysis, you could probably go back and send your engineers to develop things based on your, your results. That is correct. That is correct. We plan to get smarter with the system and to integrate all the knowledge into our golf products. Fuji Curve has a great long history. Uh, the shaft division was established in 1973 and we established Fuji Curve America in 1994 to co-develop the bubble shaft and produce it here in the U.S. In year 2000, we launched the brand Fuji Curve to the U.S. market. Fuji Curve has different technology and resources than any other shaft company and we focus more on the fitting of the golf shaft and golf club to the player rather than just making a component that can you know benefit you in the short term we're looking to make you a better golfer we're very proud of our history on the pga tour we've been the number one shaft for the past 10 years most recently in 2010 we had the most wins on the pga tour we also are the number one shaft on the lpga and champions tour and we had the most shafts in play at the various amateur majors for the usga one of the things we're most proud of at fujikura is we don't pay any players to play our products so over the past 10 years, we've had more wins and more shafts in play because the best players in the world know that they can perform the best with Fujikura shafts. Fujikura is very excited about 2011 with Blur and Matori Speeder VC.2 added to our product lines. Along with that, we're relaunching Fujikura Enso 3D Precision Club Fitting System. It is very exciting and a cornerstone of Fujikura's product lines in the future. Well, our tagline at Fujikura is the ultimate value is performance. Performance is what we're striving for and what every golfer wants. They want to play better golf. So what we do at Fujikura every day is design technologies and shafts really for golfers so that they play the best golf possible. Mm -hmm.